Hi, so in this video we're going to take a little look at creating a custom activity using the workflow designer, producing output and then receive, receiving this output so that we can use it as input to another activity. So for that we are going to create a small workflow called sum and the idea of this sum is that it's going to be used as an activity that can accept an array of numbers and it will return the sum of those numbers. So I'm going to hit OK. And then the first thing to do is to define its inputs and its outputs. So think of it like creating a function. This function called sum will receive an array of numbers, an array of doubles. Right. Next, we'll add the output and we'll just call it output. And it too should be a double. All right, that's fine. All right, so now we have numbers for input and output for output. So in order to set the value of this output value, uh, sorry, this output, we will use the set output activity. And what this does it except it allows you to specify the output that you wish to update and then a value that you want to assign to that uh, output. So in our case, we're going to switch to JavaScript, play the sum. So we're going to say const numbers equals get numbers. So that's how we get the input. Now the array, we're going to invoke the reduce method on it and basically add the previous number to the current one and that will result in the sum of these values okay that's it for this activity uh, or this is a workflow and we're going to turn it into an activity for that we will check the useful as activity and we'll check this one to automatically update consuming workflows um, so whenever we have a workflow that uses this workflow as an activity and we make a change to it, this activity and publish that change all of the consuming workflows will be updated as well, which is very convenient. Okay, so this is published. Notice that we have a new category called workflows with our new activity called sum. We'll change the category to be math and publish that change. So now we have a new category called math. And now it's time to try out this new activity. And for that, I'm going to create a new workflow called workflow one. And we're just going to drag and drop the new activity called sum onto the canvas. And notice that we can now provide a bunch of inputs called numbers. And for that, we'll switch to JavaScript. We'll return an array of a few random numbers. And notice also, of course, that we have an output called output. And we need to bind that to a variable in order to capture the output of the sum activity and this is going to be called the sum which will be of type double and we'll connect it to the output of sum all right so now when this activity executes it will perform the calculation using the provided input and assign the result to the, to the output called the sum or actually this is a variable that will be collecting the output of this activity and all we need to do now is just write out to the console the result so here we're just gonna switch to JavaScript again and say get the sum all right now let's give this a go I'm gonna press the play button when we look at the sum activity we see that indeed it calculated the result of this array by summing each individual element, output being 19, and here we are printing out the 19. So this is how easy it is to create custom activities using workflows. Uh, 